What is that? And before you ask, no, I haven't converted my Diverge into an e-bike. What I have done is fitted specialised SWAT road kit, an all-in-one solution for roadside repairs and punctures, available for the Diverge, Roubaix and Ruby. Because access to the box is blocked off by the chain rings and also the water bottle cages, you access the box from the non-drive side of the frame. To gain access to the box is simple, you lift the flap and pull away the non-drive side to give you access to all the tools. This image we can see how it's attached to the frame simply using four countersunk screws, two to the lower bottle mount positions of a down tube and seat tube and two into the case itself. With the tools now accessible let's have a look and see what tools are stored within the box. First when opening the flap we are presented with a money clip which is handy to store a bit of spare cash and the Specializer's own multi-tool. This position gives you quick access. Also, all the tool positions are labelled, enabling easy reassembly when you're putting it back together. Flipping the toolbox over, we are presented with a single tyre lever. A CO2 valve head. And next we're going to remove the central core of the box giving us access to the inner tube, CO2 canister and valve extender. The valve extender just jumped out of its little holding slot there. There's the CO2. And that's all the outside of the case holds. So let's put it down there. Moving our attention onto the central section of the SWAT kit, we have an inner tube tightly bound um, to the centre section using this oversized specialised branded elastic band. This also could come in pretty handy when using the CO2 cartridge as it gets pretty cold and it will help protect your hands. Um, and the inner tube is just basically looped over and over and over the uh, centre core section with the valve side neatly positioned. Um, to hold it centrally. Again, we can see these handy stickers showing you how to reinstall the parts once to put the kit back together once you've used it. And there we have it, the whole entire content of the specialized swap box, which I think is a pretty neat way of storing all these bits and pieces. To reassemble the kit is very simple, following the instructions on the printed stickers on the kit. Basically, you just do the opposite of what we've just done, taking it apart. And the only slightly tricky thing is squeezing the air out of the inner tube to make sure it's wrapped tightly around the centre core. To reinstall on the bike is quite simple. Uh, hold this side up, it's simply labelled, open the flap and install on the central peg which is kind of like an IKEA furniture type mechanism so you fold, uh, push it over and fold the flap shut which cams it over that post and it's securely held on the bike again. Oh and one last thing I forgot to mention the multi-tool and the money clips accessible um, without having to completely undo everything you just open the flap and you have access to the multi-tool and your money clip. So in conclusion, I think the Swap Box is a neatly designed product that improves the looks of your bike and also holds all the essentials you will need for roadside repairs for short to medium rides. For longer rides or a sportive, I would still carry an additional spare tube in my jersey pocket and maybe a mini pump or extra CO2. So thanks for watching this one guys and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!